Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Programmatic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could run a back test on a particular option right from the options chain. And we're going to use SPY in this example. When we scroll down here, we have uh, the options chain and a list of expirations that are available in SPY. I selected August 21st expiration. And when, when you select that, you get the options chain for that August 21st expiration. Um, and we could see here that we have the calls on the left-hand side, the puts on the right-hand side. And the question may be, if we take a look at a particular option, let's just say an at the money option, and we wanted to know how did the market tend to price an at the money option in SPY with nine trading days to go did it tend to overprice uh the the option underprice the option um based on uh where it was at expiration so from nine days to expiration what typically happened to that option was it profitable or unprofitable and to quickly do that we have a button here back test I mean, click on that, you get some statistics per option. So right now we're on a call options. We could see there are different options on different strikes. And over here, we see two metrics. One is the percentage of times historically that an option that was uh, nine trading days left to expiration with the same strike distance away from the spot price that that was profitable 47 percent of the time and on average the return was 14 percent so we could click on that and what will happen is down below it will show us the data um, for that back test and the idea there is to see yes that for that this particular option was only profitable 47% of the time from the buy side. That's what I chose. But on average, um, the return was positive 14%, meaning that there were times that the that option had pretty big returns to uh, pull up total average. So let's just take a look here below. So we could see here on the option back test, it's shown us three different back test. One is if you're just long the call, on average, that returned 13.4% with almost a 47% win rate. So here you can see that's going back to 2017. And we can narrow down um, that data. But let's just stay um, with this data and take a look at what if we use a different method to trade that option. What if instead of just uh, buying the call and holding on to it, if we hedged the delta, the original delta, and held it to expiration, well, that shows us that there's only a 37.7% win rate with an average rate loss of 5.3%. So just holding on to that call over time performed better than hedging that initial delta. What about rehedging the delta on a daily basis? Basically, trading the option delta neutral um, from start to finish. Okay, so end of day hedging. That looks like it was only a 32.1% win, uh, win rate with an average loss of 6.2%. So out of all these strategies here, um, we could see that the one that just buying the call outright and holding on to it, although it, it had more losses than wins, on average, the returns were positive 13.4%. Here, the median return was negative 12%. So you could see that the averages did get pulled up, probably because some of these big gains. You could see I'm hovering over it. 585% gain, 400% gain, 
389% gain. So you could see that there were some big gains um, historically in that particular option. And this is with 1,038 historical observations. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.